Welcome to Take It Off with the Gary Chicago Airport Show. I'm your host, Pastor Marion James Johnson, Jr. Uh, with this show is designed to show the many exciting things that goes on over at the Gary Chicago International Airport and the many important people that are important to the process of this airport growing. And we have one of those here today, Mr. Hardy Snyder. And we thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. He's vice chair of the RDA, the Regional Development Authority. He's a good person. He knows some things about Frable. He knows some things about Roosevelt, Horseman, and New Wallace. Mm -hmm. uh, so that makes you a good man. Hardy, we're glad you're taking time out of your schedule. Thank to come you. Pleasure to share to be with here. us. And uh, it's always good seeing you. And uh, just tell us something about yourself as we well, move into well, this. Well, first story. of all, uh, you know, I've been calling you Pastor Johnson, but now uh, I, I don't know whether I should call you Pastor James or Pastor Junior or Pastor Johnson. <laughs> you know, that's, just keep it where you had it. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, uh, I've lived in uh, northwest Indiana for over 70 years of my life. Uh, grew up in Valparaiso, went to school in Valparaiso, and as you said, uh, used to play uh, football and basketball against uh, Trable and uh, Gary Roosevelt and Lou Wallace and Horace Mann. And, uh, and uh, uh, that's a long time ago, Pastor Johnson. You weren't, uh, you weren't around yet then at that point in time. But, uh, uh, grew, up in, uh, grew up in Valparaiso and uh, uh, used to, my mother and I used to ride the bus uh, to Gary to shop at Gordon's and uh, Jack Miller uh, men's uh, clothing store and uh, used to have dinner at, uh, at the Marshall House, which was over on uh, uh, Fifth Avenue, uh, just east of Broadway. And, and, uh, uh, my wife and I, as, as, uh, when we were dating, used to come over here to the movie and uh, <laughs> used to come, come to Gary to the movies all the time because you had uh, much uh, earlier runs of movies than we had at the premiere in Valpo. So. Okay, so Valpo was getting the movies last then. That's right. Okay. right. <laughs> my, 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 how things have changed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so, um, Hardy, you know that um, the project of the Gary Chicago International Airport, uh, that's on our hearts all the time. It's on our hearts all the time. And so just tell us in your, your, your board, the RDA board, um, how, what are some of the mindsets that you see? Uh, are they anticipating uh, the finish of the project like we are, the build out? And are they as excited about it? I know what it is, but I want you to share with our, our listening audience. Uh, are they excited as we are? I mean, we're just elated about finishing that project. Well, I can assure you, Pastor Johnson, that uh, every member of the RDA board uh, is, is very excited about this uh, project of the Gary Chicago International Airport. Uh, it's a $160 million project yeah. and uh, it, uh, notwithstanding the steel mills and uh, what they've uh, built uh, in, over the years in, in Northwest Indiana at U.S. Steel and ArcelorMittal and others, uh, this is a major, major project for Northwest Indiana. It's, uh, it has already brought a number of jobs. And when we complete it, and we will complete it on time uh, by December 31st of 2013, when we complete it, it will bode well for the future for many, many fine jobs going forward many years into the future. Uh, while the number of the jobs that we've created so far have been construction jobs, there will be technical jobs and, and uh, all kinds of jobs uh, for, for people uh, I'm, I'm sure at some point in time there could even be a food service at uh, the Gary Chicago International Airport. So, so there'd be uh, food for culinary experts and, and uh, all kinds of people. So uh, the, what the Gary Chicago International Airport will bring uh, to Northwest Indiana, I don't think many people have really any, any idea yet. Uh, even if you think about the construction. Uh, I was on the site earlier today and as you, as you uh, go off of the toll road uh, headed west and, and, you, and you, uh, you take the exit there on the Klein Avenue and into the airport, you can look to your, to your right, to the north, and you can see how, how the railroad beds have, have been laid, how the two railroads merge as, as they then continue a path on around uh, bordering Klein Avenue and, and skirting the very edge of, of the airport so as to move those railroads and, and to tear down the barrier there and finally extend the runway. And much of the work on the runway extension 
uh, had beyond where the, uh, uh, where the mound of the railroad tracks uh, is currently, much of that work has already been done. Yeah. A lot of the work on the east side of, of that mound has already been done. And so that when we are finally able to tear that mound down, it'll just be filling in the last section of the runway. We have an excellent, excellent project supervisor there in Scott Wheeler, yes. who is doing a marvelous job. Indiana uh, native too. Uh, yes, that. indeed. Yeah, uh, Scott's doing a marvelous job. Of course, uh, Steve Landry, uh, the uh, uh, acting director of the airport, uh, is is keeping everything running and and working with James Ward uh, and and the mayor and uh, all of us on on the uh, uh, what I guess we could call the the task force between the airport and yeah. the RDA, uh, and, and we're all working diligently to keep us on track and to be sure that we finish on time. As you brought up the task force, I want to mention that that's been, uh, to me, that's really been a, uh, one of the key factors in the development of the airport. Uh, there's a difference between knowing a name and seeing a face. And uh, one thing I really thank the Lord for is that uh, through that I met a friend met a friend and we found out that all our mindsets are, are similar. Uh, we live in different uh, parts of the region, uh, but we all have the, the same goals and that is for the success, not just for Gary, but for the region as a whole. That's right. It's what's in our right. heart, all right. of us. Yeah. And, and uh, you're right. Uh, I, I think that uh, uh, for us, the members of the RDA board that uh, serve on that joint task force uh, of the airport board and the RDA board. Uh, we've been able to get to know our yeah. counterparts. Right. Uh, we have, uh, we, I think, you know, I think at uh, probably, and, and this would not be unusual, before we got working together, uh, there probably uh, was not a, a full, uh, I don't know. Uh, trust I, issues. Trust, trust. trust. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it wasn't that you mistrusted us or we right. mistrusted right. you, right. but until you sit down, as you say, across the table from somebody or with somebody, break bread with them, and uh, and learn about them individually, about their families, uh, about their beliefs, about their uh, you know their objectives and and what they feel in their mind and heart for Northwest Indiana, you can't really appreciate where that individual is coming from, uh, to be uh, to use an overused phrase, but. But, uh, you know, we have worked very well together, I believe. I believe so. And, uh, and notwithstanding uh, the efforts of, of uh, the mayor's predecessors, because, uh, you know, uh, Mayor Clay did, uh, did some great work, as right. did his predecessors. Right. But Mayor Freeman Wilson uh, has really gotten in. She's gotten into the trenches with us and, and picked up a shovel, if you will. And, yeah. and, literally picked up a shovel, or figuratively, I guess, uh, uh, picked up a shovel and, and dug right in so that uh, we can all stay on the same path and be sure that we get this project finished on time uh, and in order to serve all of the people of Northwest Indiana. I believe that the future of Northwest Indiana depends on this project. I really believe, I feel that strongly about it. This is going to make such a, uh, it's, it's been called a diamond in the rough. And when the diamond comes forth and the shine becomes, it's gonna, that's going to affect many, many families and many businesses and everything all around uh, this region. There's no question that, that uh, we may have had success. I mean, we, we've, Northwest Indiana, I, I go back far enough that, uh, that I remember uh, when Northwest Indiana was, uh, uh, if not number one, a very close second to supplying Indianapolis with the greatest amount of tax dollars of any place else in the state of Indiana. And, uh, and, and so we've had a success in the past. We, we've fallen on some tough times. Our steel industry is not what it used to be. Uh, and obviously uh, the economic times throughout Northwest Indiana, right. as they are throughout the United throughout States, the country, yeah. uh, and, and in fact throughout the world, yeah. uh, are more difficult than, uh, than, than what we have been accustomed to in the most recent 10 years. That said, probably, uh, as uh, Chairman Greenspan said once, there was probably a little irrational exuberance uh, within all of us as, uh, as it related to how we were planning for our future. But uh, 
set that aside and, and as we look at the Gary Chicago International Airport, we might have, we will have success in the future. That's right. We will have success in the future. But again, the Gary Chicago International Airport could be the cherry on top of the whipped cream of the hot fudge sundae. And, and that's what I think we have uh, to look forward to. Okay, Harley, when you first started um, with the RDA, and we know it's a, you were there from its inception, um, what things were you enlightened about as far as the region, or what things it was that you were aware of and it was more highlight put on those things? Was there anything that was just totally uh, mind-boggling for you? Uh, no, no, Pastor Johnson. I, uh, I was the first chairman of the uh, Northwest Indiana Forum in 1983, 4 or 5, whenever it was formed, I don't even recall anymore, which was a consolidation of the uh, uh, Calumet Forum and the Northwest Indiana Association of Commerce and Industry. Those two organizations were brought together and, and so, you know, having grown up in Northwest Indiana, having spent a lot of my youth uh, uh, interfacing and interacting with, with persons in Lake County, uh, in, in school and, and in business, I had a number of friends. And when I had my, my companies uh, for a number of years, I had a number of friends uh, in, in Lake County that uh, were in business, uh, in the real estate, in the construction business. And so I, I don't want to suggest that I knew everything about Northwest Indiana, but I had a lot of experience. And uh, we uh, probably, probably to some degree, maybe it was like we, uh, we were talking earlier about when we, the, the joint task force of the RDA and, and the airport board came together, there was a, maybe a bit of standoffishness. And, and, and there's probably been that bit of standoffishness between uh, the two counties uh, of, of Northwest Indiana, the two primary counties of right. Lake and Porter, uh, for years, you know, and, and, and what we, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here, <laughs> uh, you know, what we all need to understand is we all put our pants on one leg at a time. That's right. Okay. And, uh, and, and we all, we all have so much to gain by working together, but the facts are we have far more to lose by not working together. By not working together. <laughs> That's right. That's so, right. so uh, you know, I, I don't think I was surprised at anything. Uh, I think like my fellow members, uh, uh, Bill Joyner, uh, Lou Martinez, uh, Howard Cohen, uh, who was uh, initially there, uh, right. now, uh, now Ed Glover, uh, uh, Jeff Good. Uh, Jeff Good. Uh, Gus Olympus before mm -hmm. Jeff. Uh, we had uh, before uh, Pete Novak. We had, uh, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm really name? embarrassed now. We yeah, had a, 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 an attorney uh, who was from East Chicago, uh, Ned Ruff. Right, okay. Great guy, great guy. And he had, th these people, uh, believe me, I'm not the only one. Uh, these people know Northwest Indiana. Uh, they live Northwest Indiana. They uh, they feel the hurt. They feel the success, and they are committed to Northwest Indiana. So, so you know, I, I think um, we have Pastor Johnson within the RDA. Uh, I'll tell you, a, a, a group of persons coming together with uh, diverse backgrounds, diverse skills, uh, although, uh, you know, our skills, uh, the skill set makeup of the RDA was, uh, was uh, it covered in, in the statute that formed the RDA. They wanted people with certain skills, and, right. and that's how the, the, the various members of the board were chosen. And, and of course, geographically, they were chosen from from ge different geographical uh, areas, and uh, but we have a we have a board in the RDA that is as cohesive that works together uh, as as uh, collectively uh, as as I, I've served on a number of boards, both for profit and not for profit, yeah. and I, I I've served on some very good boards, but I've never served on a better one than this board. Okay, with the mindset of the board now. 
as we see as things move forward. And I know you guys were uh, the ones that really uh, talked to the governor about putting the types of monies that he's put into the airport. And I want to say congratulations as well as thank you for that. Um, as you move around the region, what are some of the things, uh, questions that you receive about the Gary Chicago Airport? Well, I think there's a, there's a lot of suspicion yet as to whether or not it will, it will actually happen. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, there are a lot of old feelings and attitudes and opinions that uh, still exist. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it's our job, yours and mine and, and our counterparts on the right. airport board and the RDA, to uh, every opportunity we have to counteract those. I think uh, some of the things that uh, James Ward, we mentioned earlier, uh, is doing in the promotional uh, campaign of the Gary Chicago International Airport right now is doing a lot for, for putting the airport out there in front of the people. And, and enabling them to see, well, maybe, maybe there might be an element of, of truth and fact in, in what I'm hearing. <laughs> and uh, so it's, uh, I, I think it's, it's helping the public to understand that a project like this, you know, again, I was talking about the, the railroad beds being in there. If somebody hasn't been on that site, if they haven't been intricately involved as you have and as we have to know some of the pitfalls that right. uh, uh, that Scott Wheeler and and his and his contractors have uh, has have discovered and experienced, uh, you can't really have an appreciation uh, for. I mean, we're building a bridge over over right. the extension, uh, the new extension of the railroad. I mean, and. and and uh, and you got to deal with bad soils. You got we dug uh, we dug the box culvert as you right, you know right. we've talked about so much that uh, uh, that's the biggest box culvert I think I've ever seen it in my life. It is okay. big. <laughs> yeah, it is big. It is big. And and, uh, and and the the problems that they encountered in that with soils and contamination and everything else. I mean, you know, all of these are things that you can anticipate. Some of these things, but you can't anticipate all of them. Like the wetland negotiations. Uh, who would have thought it would have took all that? And yeah. also the negotiations with the railroads, but the railroads carry a, a big hammer. Yes. Where they, where they very seldom say yes yeah. to anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But to convince them that this was uh, something that they need to be a part of. And even the Klein Avenue, we can talk about that for a few minutes too. That the, uh, the shutting down of the Klein Avenue Bridge, which was one of the things that we could say is you could leave the Gary Chicago Airport and be downtown Chicago in about 20 minutes right. and uh, trying to convince people that we need to build that, uh, that Klein Avenue Bridge again. So you can speak on that for us. Well, I think what we need to do, and, and I'm not a highway ex expert or engineer, uh, yeah. clearly I think there's a strong case to be made for the Klein Avenue Bridge. I think what we what we need primarily, however, is to focus on the fact that A, we have good access right. to the airport, and B, we make it as convenient as possible for people coming to the Gary Chicago International from the west and from the northwest and from the due west or the southwest, whatever, and it, because they can come to us at the Gary Chicago International Airport a whole lot easier and in far less time if, in fact, if, in fact, we make it possible for them yes. to come to us more conveniently and in less time. And, and that's, that's something I think that, as you well know, we have uh, we've worked with the uh, Indiana Department of Transportation and, and we continue to work with them on, uh, on access to the airport. And, uh, uh, and we're going to continue this fight, Pastor Johnson. Yes. We're going to continue this fight till we, till we achieve victory. And, uh, not only in the completion of the airport, but in accessibility and beautification and, and, and new business creation and uh, expansion of current businesses and so forth. That's, that's our goal. Like we have, we brought in Landrum and Brown for consulting, and we also have Mr. John Clark now. And there's so many people involved in this development, and with the naked eye, you can't really see that. No. The hours that we spent at the table. I mean, discussing things over and over and over again, and 
and then trying to implement it and sometime working and sometime not working. When I think about all the hours that we put in at the RDA meetings, at the, at the Gary Chicago Airport Board meetings, it's so much and people really don't realize of those that are involved close up how much time and effort it takes for this. And there's no question, and, and you mentioned, you mentioned two, you mentioned Landon Brown, you mentioned John Clark. Uh, this is an organization and an individual mm -hmm. whose reputation precedes them nationally from the involvement and their experience in working with and managing airports and, and uh, developing strategic plans and business plans for st airports in the case of Lantern Brown and operating airports in the case of John Clark. Right. And, and uh, yes, these people uh, are invaluable in this entire process. And, and uh, again, this is something that the public may read about the organization or the individual in the newspaper, but they really don't know them. They don't know the, involved, the, the amount of expertise, the amount of time and effort that, that they are putting forth in order to work towards the success that we're, we're uh, attempting to achieve. And then you look at the others. Uh, you look at uh, Paul Karras, uh, one of the directors, past directors. You look at uh, Chris Curry. Yes. One of the past directors, and now we have uh, Steve Landry, interim director. And I really don't think the public realizes the kind of time that those kind of people put into the airport. Uh, I know of, uh, I know all three of those individuals you spoke of, uh, Paul and, and Chris and, and now Steve. Uh, I think they were truly 24-7 people. Yeah, you know, that's right. Uh, they, uh, they lived, ate, and slept their job, and, uh, and, and uh, as, as you do in your profession and, and as you do as a member of the board of the Gary Chicago International Airport, as I do uh, in my profession and, and as also as a member of the uh, board of the RDA. So, uh, and, and you're right, these are the kind of people that, that we have involved, not only in the Joint Task Force, but, but in all the other consultants and, and individuals who are working with us in order to achieve, again, the success that we're uh, ultimately going to achieve. And then we have to bring in the RDA also. I mean, uh, not the RDA, but the Compact. That's yes. another group that we work with. We work with the RDA, the RDA works with us, and then we all work with the Compact. Uh, influence from the governor from time to time, we have to call on our elected officials and, and get them involved, and, and they spend time. Uh, talking to us and we're knocking on doors and saying we need this, we need this, we need this. Uh, it's just so much work that goes on into this effort. And I think I mentioned to you, matter of fact, I know it was you, I said we ought to have one big celebration uh, with all the entities involved when we finish this thing. Uh, we certainly should and, and you mentioned our legislators. You know, were it not for the legislators of Northwest Indiana, uh, the RDA wouldn't exist today. Yeah. Um, if the RDA didn't exist today, uh, you wouldn't have gotten the original $20 million, you, the airport, would That's not right. have gotten the original $20 million from the state of Indiana, uh, nor would you have gotten the $50 million or so that, we've, that we are putting into the Gary Chicago International Airport in addition to that, and, uh, and, and nor would we have been able to we, the RDA, been able to invest in, in actual dollars and, and uh, uh, in, including grants and, and outside uh, federal government and state funds and so forth, about a billion dollars, which I think you're aware of, Pastor Johnson, that we've got about a five to one return on it. That's right. So for every dollar we've spent, We've got five dollars back through the RDA. So it's a good job of wrenching out the dollar bill. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. We want to thank you for coming. Thank you. I've been giving thank the, you for the time. time to close out, but you're a very fine man and keep being a good fellow that you are. And I know that the Lord is going to bless the way we come together. And hopefully that can be an example uh, for other entities around this nation, not just Indiana around this nation. We can only hope. Yes. <laughs> Once again, you've been watching and taking off with the Gary Chicago Airport Show. I've been your host, Pastor Marion James Johnson, Jr., and our very special guest has been uh, Mr. Harley Snyder, a uh, great man, vice chair of the RDA. And we thank you once again for taking time out of your business. Thank schedule. you for the time.